thought our team went out and we fought. I mean, we battled hard. It, it was a contest where we made mis some mistakes. They made some mistakes, but in the end, they um, scored more baskets than we did. And uh, but I'm not going to give take anything away from my team. I thought they came out and they battled and they did everything we asked them to do. And so very proud of our team. Um, ORU, um, you know, they, they're a very talented team. I thought we matched up very well. Um, they did a good job of putting the ball in the hole when they needed to. Um, they have some experience of going to tournaments and um, being in those situations. And this is something our kids are learning how to go into tournament time, learn to play, learn to win at this. And I think we're going to get better at it. We just made a few adjustments on where we were setting the screens, how we were going to get it. I, I think, like I said, they, they have grown so much throughout the year and learning how to adapt and, and overcome. And we definitely threw a lot of offenses at them in the last um, second half that we adjusted, we changed things, and it worked. And, and um, we just came up a few points short on using it. But I thought they did a tremendous job of sitting in the huddles, listening, paying attention. There was a lot of lines being drawn on that board, and, and they were following, and that's all that matters. I talked with my post coach, and she was like, you know, no matter what happens, you just you got to keep moving, and you've got to attack on the boards. If, you know, they're shutting you down on your offensive game, find somewhere else, and I tried the best that I could to get on the boards. I think I've come a long way. I think all of our seniors have come a long way from a program that struggled to even have a winning season to now being co-champs regular season and playing in the championship game for the tournament. And um, I, we, just, we just fight hard, play together. And it hurts that we don't have the opportunity to be cutting down some more nets, but I think that from now, like from where we used to be to now, I think we have we have everything to be proud of. We've come such a long way. I think when they hired um, myself and Coach Caldwell seven years ago, we knew that we were we were going to have to just roll up our sleeves and work. And and I think we've done a good job. Um, early on, we knew that we were not going to win a lot of ball games. We had kids that, that worked for us, they fought for us. So um, we won in the community and, and really went in and, and worked it well, trying to get our academics up and do all that. Went out and recruited hard, got some kids. We don't get the best kids in the country, but I tell you, the kids we get, I would never, never give back. Um, these kids, they come in and we work hard, we develop them, um, but they develop themselves by, by working hard. and. They've just come in and have done a, an outstanding job for us. And it, it's taken a lot of sleeves rolled up, a, a lot of hard work um, to get this program where it is right now. And, you know, again, we give it to our administration for giving us an opportunity um, for myself to be able to, you know, be the head coach there when we were in some hard times. This program wasn't going to turn around easy. It, it was going to take the senior class to get in here and work hard. And, and they did it. And they bought in to, to uh, basically not bought in. I don't want to say it like that. They believed in what we were doing. And they believed in where we were going to go. And doing that, that made the difference in this program, is getting the right kids to believe in what we were doing. Um, when Sequina came in, me and her went toe to toe every day. Um, she, she wanted it one way, I wanted it the other. And, um, and she has grown up so much. And she is a fine young lady. And, and has matured on the court and off, and she's gonna do great things. And the good thing is I tell them, they need to graduate and hurry up and send money back to us. So that's a good thing about graduating these kids. But um, very proud of, of all three of my seniors and very proud of the group that has come in and believed in us to be able to fight for Sam Houston. It's a lot about pride, you know, um, I'm very thankful for the seniors and what they've done for this program, and it's not going to end with them. We are going to work hard, and we are going to keep being successful.